2023 Honda CRV Hybrid. Is this the best hybrid SUV to buy? That's what we're gonna find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. It's no secret that hybrids are becoming more and more popular every single year because they don't cost a lot more money than the conventional gas engine. And the fact that they're going to save you a lot of money in gas in the long run, it's more than worth it. And even though most consumers probably picture a brand like Toyota when it comes to hybrids, Honda has actually been making hybrids for over two decades, and they've been doing a very good job of it. But even though the newly redesigned CRV hybrid has a lot of amazing things going for it, which I'm going to discuss in this video, it also has one major issue. And to find out what that is, make sure to stick around until the end of this video. And if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you, the consumer. For 2023, Honda has completely redesigned the CRV and offers it in two basic versions. You have the standard gas engine and then you have the hybrid, which Honda has differentiated with a lot of different black accents and black wheels, giving it a much sportier look. But of course, the biggest difference between them is what you'll find underneath the hood. Compared to the standard CRV, which uses a 1.5 turbo four cylinder engine with a CVT continuously variable transmission, the hybrid version has a completely different setup. Here we have Honda's two motor hybrid setup, which is an evolution of a hybrid system that Honda has been using in the Accord since 2014. So it does have a very well proven track record. Essentially how it works is that you have a single electric motor that powers the front wheels. And then you also have a second electric motor that works as a starter generator, which is connected to a four cylinder engine and a lithium ion hybrid battery pack. What's interesting about this hybrid system is that although the four cylinder engine is able to power the front wheels under certain conditions, when it's most fuel efficient to do so, it primarily works as a generator, producing power for the electric motor. And unlike the regular CRV, which uses a turbocharged engine, the CRV hybrid uses a simple, naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder engine. Now there are a few reasons why this hybrid version might in fact be the ideal setup for those who might feel a little bit skeptical about buying a regular CRV with the turbo engine and with the CVT. For one thing, the CRV hybrid doesn't have a turbocharged engine. The two liter four cylinder engine is naturally aspirated, which is generally better when it comes to long term maintenance and repairs. And another really interesting thing about the CRV's hybrid system is that it doesn't actually have a transmission which is great for mechanical simplicity. So when you put all these things together, no turbocharged engine, no transmission, and a proven track record that goes back several years, and you have a great formula for strong long-term reliability. And on top of that, this is quite an effective hybrid when it comes to fuel economy, which is the main reason that you buy a hybrid in the first place. Depending on the driving conditions, the CRV hybrid is rated to achieve between 36 and 43 miles per gallon, or six to seven liters per 100 kilometers. And in the real world, driving it on the careful side and driving it in the winter, which typically hurts the efficiency of hybrids, I've still been able to achieve around 36 miles per gallon or just under seven liters per 100 kilometers, which is quite impressive. When you compare its fuel economy to the regular CRV with the 1.5 turbo engine, it's not exactly a huge difference if you're looking at the highway mileage, but if you do a lot of stop and go driving around the city, that's where you're going to save yourself a lot of money on gas upwards of 30 to 50%. The CRV hybrid, however, is far from the most fuel efficient hybrid SUV that you can buy. Both the Ford Escape hybrid and the Toyota RAV4 hybrid have much better fuel economy ratings. And I think you can attribute that to the way the CRV hybrid works. The gas engine does seem to come on a lot more than you might expect. And you also have to consider the fact that you do have a traditional mechanical all wheel drive system with a differential and a drive shaft, which does reduce the fuel economy too. Other hybrid SUVs by comparison, like the Toyota RAV4 hybrid, have an electric all-wheel drive system, which is why they get better fuel economy. But what is nice about the CRV's hybrid system is that you are able to tow up to a thousand pounds, which is something that you're not always able to do with hybrids. And it also has very impressive performance. It produces around 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque, which is more power than you get with the regular 1.5 turbo engine. And you can certainly feel that power when you accelerate. The CRV hybrid is able to accelerate to highway speeds in just under eight seconds, which is more than adequate for an SUV of this type. But not only do you get great power, but the way that it accelerates is also very impressive. Even though you don't actually have a transmission with this SUV, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Honda has managed to program the engine and the electric motor to simulate the feeling of shifting as you accelerate, 
which actually works very well. The other very impressive thing about this hybrid system is how smooth and refined it is. The transition between the gas engine turning on and off is completely seamless. You never really notice it while you're driving, and this is among one of the smoothest hybrids that you can buy. As I mentioned earlier, Honda has been making hybrids for over two decades. They've been making them almost as long as Toyota, and it really shows with how smooth and refined this hybrid system is. And not only does this have a very smooth hybrid system, but it also has excellent smooth ride quality too. Honda is extremely well known for achieving a really nice balance between comfort and handling, and that's certainly something that the CRV does a lot better than a lot of other SUVs in this class. I wouldn't necessarily call it a fun to drive or entertaining SUV, but it certainly has very good handling for what it is. And as mentioned, the other thing that this hybrid system has going for it is its strong track record for reliability. Honda has been making hybrids for a long time, and they really don't have any known repair issues as they age. So really, much like Toyota, if you want a well-designed hybrid SUV that not only performs very well, but one that you can hold on to for a very long time, with minimal maintenance and repairs, this is a great option to go for. But there are many other benefits to the CRV's design, especially when it comes to the interior and the interior space. For one thing, the CRV is one of the most spacious SUVs in its class, making it an ideal choice for taller drivers or those who have taller families. It offers a ton of room in both the front and rear seats, and it also has a very large cargo area too, with rear seats that fold perfectly flat. But not only is this one of the most practical SUVs in its segment, but it also has a very well-designed interior with a lot of upscale, high-quality materials and excellent fit and finish. Honda has been doing a phenomenal job of the interiors in all of its latest vehicles, and the CRV is really no different. You have a straightforward climate control system, a very clear, well-laid-out gauge cluster behind the steering wheel, and you also have a very functional, easy-to-use touchscreen infotainment system. Although it's not quite as large of a screen as you get in some other SUVs, it's only a 9-inch touchscreen, it does have a very clear, easy-to-use menu structure, and it does come with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great to see. You also have a very straightforward control setup, plenty of storage space, and a long list of active safety features, which is great to see. Now, although the CRV is a very well-equipped SUV, there are a few features that are missing. For example, you can't get a surround view 360 camera, there's no ventilated seat option, and you also can't get a panoramic sunroof, which is quite disappointing. But aside from that, and maybe the size of the touchscreen, I really don't have any complaints with this interior. It really is near the top of the class. So by the sounds of things, the CRV Hybrid is shaping up to be a very well-designed SUV with a lot of things going for it. But unfortunately, it does have one minor problem, and that is the pricing. Now, when you look at the pricing in the US, it's really not too bad. The CRV Hybrid is available in two different trim levels, the Sport and the Sport Touring, which cost around $1,300 and $3,300 more than the standard gas engine. 3300 is quite a bit more to pay for the hybrid, and the Sport Touring does get up there in price. The standard Sport model, however, is a very good value, and is definitely the one I would recommend going for. Things are quite a bit different in Canada, however, because the CRV Hybrid is only offered on the top Touring trim, which costs around $5,000 more than the next down EXL with the turbo engine. Now, to justify that price increase, Honda does give you a few additional features with the Touring, like for example the sport exterior trim with the black accents, the black 19 inch wheels, and you also get a Bose premium sound system and a few additional USB ports. But even so, that is a huge price premium. I think Honda Canada's decision to offer the CRV hybrid only one way with a price tag of just over $50,000 was a huge mistake and just makes it unattainable for a lot of consumers. I mean, when you look at that price, it's around $14,000 more expensive than a base model RAV4 hybrid, and around $7,000 more expensive than a comparable RAV4 hybrid XLE Premium, which is still a huge increase. In many ways, the pricing is more comparable to that of the Lexus NX350h, which is a proper luxury SUV by comparison. There's no question, if Honda were to simply offer the CRV hybrid in a few more trims for a lot less money, it would be a lot more competitive, but more importantly, it would be a lot more attainable for more consumers. But having said that, there are additional reasons why you might want to consider the CRV Hybrid over the competition, like for example the pricing in the real world from dealerships, and also vehicle availability and waiting times. For example, where I'm located in Ontario, you can get a CRV Hybrid in only around 3 to 4 months wait time, as opposed to over 12 months for most other hybrid SUVs, 
including the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. So if you want to buy an SUV in a reasonable amount of time and don't want to wait forever, then this CRV Hybrid might be the one to go for. Of course, vehicle availability, wait times, and pricing all depends on your location. But the point is, you do need to shop around in order to determine whether it's the right SUV for you. So what exactly is the verdict on the CRV Hybrid? Well, as mentioned, this is a very well-designed SUV. It has impressive fuel economy and performance. It drives extremely well, has a lot of features, a lot of interior space and cargo space. And it also has an amazing reputation for reliability and should also hold its value extremely well over time. Aside from the lack of trim levels and the pricing, there really isn't much to complain about with this SUV. In fact, I'm looking forward to getting this SUV next to the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid for my next video that's dropping in a few days to see how they compare back to back. So in the meantime, let me know what you think of the CRV Hybrid. What would you like to see it compared against? And would you consider buying one or would you go for something else instead? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcanada.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.